Welcome to the Arabian Golf League magazine show. We'll be looking forward to the 2020-2021 league campaign. As frontline workers all around the world continue to put themselves in harm's way on everyone's behalf, the Arabian Golf League would like to say thank you for our frontline workers. The season has already started here in the United Arab Emirates with the Arabian Golf Cup getting underway last week. There were a couple of standout matches in round one and some fantastic goals. Hatter lost 2-0 at home to Banias. New man João Pedro getting off the mark inside five minutes. A promising start for them. They doubled their lead before half-time with Al Hamadi's goal. Not a good start for Christos Contas's Hatter side. Itihad Kalba beat Al Jazeera 2-1. It looks like Calva striker and Lapa is on for another good season as he bagged a brace. The winner coming in the 90th minute. An unfortunate own goal for Yamahi meant that Fajira beat Ajman 1-0, much to the annoyance of Ajman's manager Ayman Al Ramadi. Shabab Al Ali led against Al Dafra after Kartabia converted a penalty, but that was cancelled out by Danielson's late equaliser. The surprise result of the round saw Corfacan run out 4-2 winners away at Alain. Ortone and Abdul Rahman's first half goals saw the teams level at the break. Janinho and Juma grabbed two goals in two minutes to give Corfacan command of the tie. Pereira pulled one back for Alain before Ramon made the game safe. A late red card also adding to Alain Woes. Ishmael Matar gave Alwada the lead from the penalty spot against Alwazel. Balwazel pegged them back through Noor and secured the win with a late goal from Figueredo. Here's the confirmation of the first leg results. For more details on the Arabian Golf Cup, please head to our social media channels and the UAE Pro League website. The Arabian Golf League resumes after its summer break on Friday the 16th of October. With the global healthcare situation last season, the league wasn't completed, but the teams will be excited to get the new campaign underway. As is the case worldwide, fans currently won't be permitted access to stadiums to watch the games live, so please stay safe and enjoy the action from the comfort of your own homes. For up-to-date information, please check the Arabian Golf League website and social media channels. Alwada get things underway as they welcome Hatta to the Al Nayan Stadium. Vuk Razovic takes charge of Alwada for the first time after leaving fellow golf league club Al Dafra over the summer. Securing Brazilian love and all from Alwazel was a good bit of business, as was adding another striker, Slovenian Tim Matas. Hatter started last season very slowly, and Christos Contis will aim to have them competing for points much earlier this time around. Hatter have really bolstered their squad, bringing in numerous players to enhance their first 11. Al Dafra replaced manager Vuk Razovic with Serbian Aleksandar Vezelinovic. The new man's main task will be to replace the goals they were provided last season by João Pedro, with the Brazilian moving on to Banias. The visitors Ajman have no shortage of firepower, and manager Ayman Al Ramadi will again be looking for those strikers, William Awusu and Bubkar Trioli, to fire them up the league table. But there's no doubt they will miss the creativity provided by Van de Vieira, who is no longer at the club. Sharjah start their defence of the league title with a trip to the eastern coast when they play Fajira late on Friday night. Sharjah have strengthened their squad, adding Brazilians Wellington, Caio and Yonatas to their roster. Unfortunately, Yonatas suffered a knee injury in pre-season that will keep him on the sidelines for a few months. We wish him a speedy recovery. Igor Coronado had an incredible campaign last season. They'll hope he stays injury-free.
Fajira will be looking to establish themselves in the top division. They've recruited ex Corfacan manager Goran Tafedic to lead a squad revitalised with numerous additions. Samuel Armenteros, probably the pick of the bunch, with the Swede bringing in a wealth of experience. Awaz will begin their campaign at home against Banias. Manager Laurentel Regkamp will hope Fabio Lima keeps up his superb form from last season. The number 10 was the key man in everything they did last time out, and they'll be hoping he delivers again this season. Santos Neres has been signed from Portuguese side Boa Vista. The Brazilian should bring more stability to the defence. Banias might have pulled off the signing of the summer, bringing in João Pedro Santos from El New manager Daniel Isala will be hoping his goals can give them the consistency they lacked last campaign. Jorge da Silva continues at the helm of Itihad Kalba, who will again face a battle to stay in the top division. Forward Peniel and Lapa, providing many of their best moments last season, will again be their main threat going forward. They've also added some real quality to their midfield, with the loan signing of David Mariani from Shabab Al Ali, and Junior Fernandez is another exciting addition. Shabab Al Ali will fancy their chances of pushing for the league title this season. They had a fantastic campaign last time out and have a wealth of attacking talent to call upon. Gerard Zaragoza will be looking to start the season strongly. Shabab Al Ali went the furthest of all the UAE based clubs in the AFC Champions League. They were knocked out on penalties in the round of 16. Al Ain will be highly optimistic of the season ahead. They start at home against Corfu Can. Pedro Emmanuel took over Alain midway through last season and got them playing some fantastic football. Kojo Laba was scoring for fun. Will the Togolese hitman have as much joy this time around? Paul Fakan waited a very long time for a win last season. They've made some good additions to their squad, most notably bringing in Colombian winger Berrio from Flamenco. It will be up to new manager Kayo Zanardi who knows the league well after his time at Al Nasser to ensure they start much better this time around. Closing the first round of games on Saturday evening is a huge match in Dubai, with Al Nasser taking on Al Jazeera. Al Nasser lost their talisman Alvaro Negredo, but found an excellent replacement with the prolific Sebastian Tagliabue, making the move north from the capital. They also bring in Ryan Mendes from Sharjah. That certainly will change their attacking options. Manager Kronislav Djurjic will be looking to build on the Arabian Golf Cup trophy from last season. There will be big pressure on Al Jazeera manager Marcel Kaiser to mount a title challenge. They haven't brought in many faces, but have plenty of quality in their squad already. So here's the confirmation of the first round of fixtures. There are four games taking place on Friday the 16th of October, three more games on Saturday the 17th. There are some great games to get us started, with probably the pick of the bunch closing the weekend action, as Al Jazeera visit Dubai to face Al Nasser. Remember, you can keep up to date with all the latest scores, stories and news from the Arabian Golf League website and our social media channels. Thanks for joining us as we previewed the start of the 2020-2021 Arabian Golf League season. We'll be back next week to review the round one action. Bye for now.